Hello, scrappy friends. It's mixed media mayhem going on here at the Macklefresh household. Um, I'm lifting, all of us are lifting. Where There's a hop. First of all, uh, once a month we have a hop where we invite uh, others that are not on the team to join in. And so we're having the hop today and we're lifting the fabulous Rebecca Lockhart, who is the mixed media maven out there. And um, this is her original that has kind of a swath of what looks like sprays of, and I'm going to say here, it's, it's Chroma Mist from Bruce Monroe. I don't happen to have any of that, but I do have Dilutions uh, water-based ink sprays by Diane Reevely, and I have Dina Wakeley's uh, Mixed Media Gloss Spray in Lemon. And so instead of using the yellow and pink, which blend to make orange. I'm going to use yellow and green. Let me see if I have a darker or a different green. I have this green in the gloss spray, which I might do a, a spritz or two of. And let me see what I have in my Diane Reevely. I have this, um, cut grass, which I could, I could try. Let me test and make sure it sprays. I'm spraying my trash can, so my trash can's gonna be all sorts of pretty colors. So far, all the sprays I've tried that I wanted to use are spraying, so yay. Okay, now what I have done beforehand, the reason you see my heat gun here is that I have, um, and this uh, Ken Oliver uh, mat, because it is heat resistant, it won't uh, get ruined like the um, uh, this Tim Holtz mat. But this one is bigger, and so gives me a little bit more protection when I spray, and I'm gonna get my punches out of the way. I've got spray pretty much all over everything anyway. What I have done is I stamped uh, some sentiments. Uh, you can see that in Rebecca's, she's used a Bruce Monroe stamp set that's got kind of scripty words, and she's used those either after the fact or underneath. I'm trying it underneath as a resist technique. So, I stamped life's journey has many paths several times, and then I did have an adventure and no regrets, also in a couple places. So I did that same kind of diagonal line there. And the photo I'm gonna use is this one of John and me at a uh, Braves game back in the old stadium. Uh, I like this photo because our car is right in the background and I don't know I we just look like we were going somewhere to and doing something and that was kind of that was kind of our uh, our thing okay so I'm just gonna start and I'm hoping that and I will have some um paper towel. It would be good to have baby wipes because baby wipes, I've always used baby wipes before. But once I spray, I'm going to kind of go uh, across the area that has been sprayed to make sure that it shows through the resist. I have no idea whether this will work. Never done this before. Um, I'm going to kind of go through and do a few spritzes. Like that, I'm going to switch to this green and then I'll switch to the this green. And now I'm going to go to the and look at is the resist, it is showing through. This is a different animal here, so I don't know if the gloss spray will um, show through, but 
we shall see, right? And we have this. I love the interaction that's going on there. And I think some of that is the interaction between the gloss spray and the uh, um, dilutions. Okay, I'm just going to, instead of doing the individual areas, I'm going to do this. And I'll do another pass over here. <laughs> and I'm kind of trying to press it down. It was warped a little bit from the uh, heat embossing, but uh, we should be fine. Okay, now this the rest of this should go pretty fast. I'm not going to overburden you with Calvin ball points. In fact, this um, layout will not have every possible Calvin ball point, but I do plan to put some, and I'm going to go with color study. Um, I've used about four or five different patterns of color study uh, behind my photo. And what I did was I die cut the photo um, circular and it's a stitched die. It's one of those that embosses uh, what looks like stitching. And I kind of like that as a finishing touch. It's especially nice for cards. And then I... Um, I just glued it down on a piece of paper, a scrap that was big enough for it to fit, and I hand cut around it and then um, distressed the edges and kind of tore them in some places. I kind of like that title piece, um, but I have other, other things maybe. Uh, possibly going on. This may be an accent piece that ends up not being my title, but I want the color to show through it wherever it goes. That's kind of what gave me the idea. So I'm going to put this on some foam just so that it's kind of popped up just enough to um, for me to slide things under. I'm going to do that right there. And it's, it's pretty dry. It's, it's still curling, but that's, that's okay. Um, I have a I was going to use this for a title. Um, I want to use two different fonts. So I've got... It was a... And then very good day. And Re uh, Rebecca's got hers. Our big heart is happy. So she's got part of the title up here and part down below. So I'm going to pull this, and I happen to have on my desk, I have other letters that probably do have an A, but I've got these Maggie Holmes ones handy. This is a kind of washi tape. Bit from Color Study. It's from the the sticker stack there. Um, let me put that aside. I don't want to mix it in with my other Calvin Ball stuff. So I'm going to do these little letters, and they probably will not stick because they're falling off all over the floor. This has kind of been knocked around a bit. Uh, 
Um, I would normally kind of mount these on foam, but I think they'll stand up or stand out enough here without doing that. I'm gonna use, I don't have any upside down, I don't have any V's to turn upside down into A's. So I'm gonna, well, I could either turn a U upside down or I'm gonna use the at sign. Okay, let me get about every other one seems to need some glue. Okay, one more little at sign and I'll, it's off by itself. I really like how the uh, embossing kind of came through. Okay, and I know that leaves something to be desired in terms of um, cohesiveness, but once I start adding stuff around, it'll kind of all blend in together. I've got this ticket. Actually, let me not use the Maggie Holmes stuff. I'll see how much I can get done with the Vicki Booten stuff. I've got this little um, piece of floral ephemera that I can put kind of overlapping the photo. This way. Ooh, there's a little ticket right here. I'll use that instead. And tickets are appropriate because we were at a ball game. Okay, there. And then I have this um, Viewmaster that I'm cutting out of a tag and I could use the whole tag because I need a tag and I may use the top of the tag sticking out, but, but my assessment was that it was too big. And uh, these are kind of some of the big, bigger elements here. I might, so I'm losing the, the yellow and the green, but that's okay because those colors are pretty predominant on the page anyway. I just kind of wanted to reflect them and reuse them anywhere that I could. I'm going to prop that up. like that. And then another large piece that I'd like to use is, not large exactly, is this, um, it's kind of because I've done my photo round, it's kind of hard to use a tab um, the normal way. So I thought maybe I'd try to bury it in one of these layers like that, and then I can put some other stuff around it. I always say that, and then I rarely do. This is a little arrow, and it's polka dotted, and both of those things get me points, and it's black and white. Um, but it's not a pattern paper. I suppose it's a paper arrow, so you could say it's a black and white parent, pattern paper, but I will probably look for some black and white pattern paper. I'm going to do this kind of right there. 
I have also got some splats that I thought might be cute on here, and I'm going to use the black and white ones. Um, well, why not use the other colors too? Here's a sort of a teal color. I'll put that right there. And then I can put something here and it still kind of looks filled in. I've got this um, circle-y frame sort of thing that can kind of hold, um, I can put some embellishments in there. This is not sticking. Well, I put it, it was, I put it on some, um, I put some liquid glue on it. Okay, I also have this flower, but I think I don't need any more flowers, so I'm gonna put that aside. I have this giant camera and I think I'll, I don't need anything else giant on here. I'm going to put this back on this sticker sheet and I'm going to say that's all I might use on that page. I want a vellum star and I'm taking as much as possible, I'm, I'm picking things with colors that will go with the background color scheme. In other words, I'm, I don't want to put a, a pink vellum over green and have it look brown when you see through it. So I'm doing this vellum in a compatible kind of green. And I'm not getting any of the glue out. I'll kind of do that. And I'll put this someplace that I can hide that it's a cut star. So right there gets me the vellum, the gold, and the star points. I'm going to put that down here. Uh, puffy stickers. I've got this little tiny heart here, and I can put two of them together. Let's go with pink and blue. Okay, then I'm done there. I've got a, um, a word strip that says, any day spent with you is my favorite day. And that's absolutely um, how I felt and feel. And I'm just gonna kinda put that on right there. And I may do some embellishing around it. I need a butterfly, and so I thought if I fussy cut one of these little black and white ones, that would count as my black and white pattern paper, and my fussy cutting, and my butterfly. And so I'm gonna do that, and I'm gonna put him kind of right here. <laughs> on this. And I don't think I need anything else there. There is a um, There's a purple arrow, and I don't need another arrow, but it's purple. I do have purple on there already, and I just like it. I 
I needed the banner shaped one more so than the arrow shaped one, but I'm gonna use it. Um, let's see if there's anything on here I need. I don't think so. There's a banner. There are two banners. One has a star. I'm going to face, I'm going to use that one right there. And I will put the orange one in the layer just right above that. And I like that. Okay, uh, don't think I need anything else there. I saw something on here. Oh, there's the small camera that I like. Do I want the teal one or the pink one? I'm gonna go with the teal. And it's chipboard, so I'm gonna use some glue. And where do I wanna put it? Maybe here, kind of as it's going around the circle from this little guy. And I've got some silver stars. I've been throughout this competition, <laughs> uh, the Calvin ball, um, I've had trouble incorporating the color silver because there just aren't that many collections that have silver in them. I'm gonna put it right here on this guy. This isn't, this is a mixed media layout and it. I do not intend for it to have um, just to be piled high with, with Stuff. And in fact, I think I'm going to leave that just like that. Um, let's see if there's anything here. There are birds. Don't need a bird. There are arrows. Already have arrows. Um, there's a thing right here that says my heart. And I'm gonna take that and use it. I'm gonna put it right there. And I've got my you and me that I now can kind of figure the placement. It can go over here and I love it. I saw this piece and I knew when I got my Fox box that had this in it, it was in the March Fox box, I knew that I would want to hoard it and that I would have to make myself use it. But this is the layout I think it was meant to be used on. It's just kind of an everyday uh, going to a baseball game photo of the two of us. No, you know, fabulous South Pacific vacation or um, anything like that. It's just a, a fun day at the ballpark. That is going to need to be held down to get it to stick because the paper's warping. Um, I'm going to hold it there while I look through things over here. I've got this washi tape 
that I thought I would tear and run just right along under here. And I don't need to do that. I also have a piece of flare I thought about using. I really like accenting the black and white uh, accents with bright color. And I kind of like that one. So I'm holding it down with one hand and reaching for my flares with the other hand. And I'm thinking I want this flare to go here and have it run. Well, let me see if I can have it maybe over lap a bit. I'm gonna put this way over to one side so the other side can hop up over that. Um, let me get this guy. Got to get the lines going the right way. Okay, now I can start this washi tape kind of under the flare and, and along there, maybe not all the way to the end. But it, it and if I, this is assuming, I can, I'm not finding, <laughs> there it is, there it is, okay. It's brand new, never been used, and my eyes aren't that great as far as seeing it. So I'm gonna try to rip it, and doing this on camera is gonna be hilarious, doing a piece that long. What I like about this floral is that it has a little black and white flower in there. It has all the colors and then the black and white. Okay, I'm just gonna put that under there Press that down. Well, you know, I think it came out just the right length. I'm not gonna adjust it at all. I'm trying to tuck it back down under there so that you get the so the line you get is created by the chipboard piece and not the washi tape. So I think I'm done. There's a little house left over from my last project. I'm gonna put a little adhesive on it because it's, it's a home and it kind of is an indication that we were the home team in that game. So or it was our, we were at our home team's game. Just kind of stick it in there. It's a point, right? Um, not gonna use that, not gonna use the speech bubble. I think this purple paper clip might be kind of cute because I have it handy and it was actually being used, you know, for clipping things together, but I think it might be cute as part of this little grouping with the ticket there. Okay, so that's done. I'm done and I love it. One thing I wanna add is I wanna add some black splatters. And my, I need a new, bottle of black ink.
Okay. And a few there and a few down here. And I think I'm done. I think I like it. I, I really like the way that the, the inks blended together. I, I don't use my sprays for spraying as much as I probably should. So I like this. Thank you for watching and happy mixed media mayhem. Bye.